What is up, guys? Welcome back to our Chicago Bears franchise here in episode 30. It is week nine in the second, in our second season. Uh, it's our bye week. We're sitting at five and three, playing some pretty good football overall. Just lo- uh, lost the last game at the 49ers. They're not. A, they were an under 500 team, so kind of sucked that we lost that one. But we had won four straight previously before that, so we're playing some decent football. Uh, today we're just gonna go over player stats, uh, look at the scouting, look at the standings first here. Um, you know, just a quick kind of like mid-season kind of review of what we've done so far. Looking at the standings, Vikings are in first place at five and two. We're in second at five and three, half game back. Uh, that's only because Vikings had the bye week. We're just now on our bye week. Uh, so that same with Packers, they had theirs at four and three lines. In the basement at 3-5. and five. So very winnable. Division's up for grabs. Looking at the stats now. Jay Cutler. 1,786 yards. 13 touchdowns. 6 picks. Through 8 games. He's playing pretty good. Uh, obviously I still have no idea if we're going to keep him next year. I think it depends on how he plays in the second half of the season. But so far he's not doing too bad. Averaging 223 yards a game. Uh, it's not too bad. Jeremy Langford, he's killing it. 221 carries, kind of a lot. I uh, hope I can cut down in the second half, but he's really the only running back we have since Rodgers just came back from injury. But he's already got 859 rushing yards, so he's on pace for well over 1,600. Only one touchdown, though, so that's not really... He should have two of them. 77 yards that Miller has should be Langford's, but obviously, if you remember the Carolina game... I accidentally lateraled it to Miller when I was trying to celebrate a touchdown. So <laughs> that so he should be over 900 yards already, but instead he is not. Moving on to receiving, though, Zach Miller again leading the team, 58 receptions, uh, 413 yards, one touchdown. Langford second on the team with 45 receptions, 533, and a touchdown. Not ideal. Obviously, we brought in Gordon to... Kind of make a three-headed monster at receiver. Injury to Jeffrey kind of hurt us a little bit because now they're double teaming White. Uh, and Gordon, he's just dropping stuff, to be honest. I mean, he has nine catches. White, 21 catches, 413 yards. He does have seven touchdowns, so that's good. But definitely want to get him more involved in the second half reception-wise. Uh, Edge Royal, 21 receptions, 196 yards and a touchdown. Uh, but mainly what I want to talk about is Josh Gordon because... He has been a disappointment. Nine receptions, 18 or 118 yards, two touchdowns. I'm pretty sure I've thrown him the ball over 20 times. He drops a lot of stuff that he should not be dropping. I don't know what we're going to do with him. We gave him a decent, I think a three or four year deal. Uh, so maybe I try to trade him. I don't know. We'll, uh, you know, in the off season. I don't know, though. We'll see how he does in the second half of the season. Obviously, we're still playing, you know, very much in the playoff race. Uh, we'd probably be in the playoffs if the season were to start today. But I don't know. That's just something looking forward. Um, something to keep an eye on as we go forward. Bobby Massey giving up five sacks. Long in Spain, four. Terrell Jones, three. And Patrick Lewis, two. So, nine, 13, 16, 18 sacks. Giving up through eight games. It's on pace for 30. I think that's down from last year, but it's still not ideal. Uh, moving on to defense, Amos leading the team with 55 tackles. Holloway, the rookie, Savius Holloway with 49. Terrell Freeman, 48. Trevathan, 47. Rookie Jarrett Shepard with 40. So a couple of rookies there in the top five. Those are, I believe those are first, two, first round, second round pick, respectively. So that's pretty good to see. Keen Hicks leading the team with six and a half sacks. He had 19 and a half last year, so he's on pace for 13. Bowler, 5.5. He had 17 last year. He's on pace for 11. McPhee, 4.5. Freeman, 2.5. Goldman, 2. Floyd, 1.5. So we're not really getting to the quarterback as much as we were last year. Um, Obviously, I I did put the sliders up a little bit because I thought it was a little too easy to sack the quarterback. So I did make it a little harder for me to get them, uh, get to them. But so I'm sure I'll figure that out. Rookie Gregory Calvin leading the team with four interceptions. Adrian Amos has two. Freeman, Holloway, Fuller all have one. So, 
Yeah, nine. So we got nine team interceptions through the first half. I think that's up from last year. So just, uh, you know, try to get as many turnovers as we can. Holloway and McPhee with two forced fumbles. Freeman, Bullard with one, so that's six. So 15 turnovers through the first half or takeaways. Not too bad. We'll take it. And then uh, did not show our kickers for some reason. Didn't have the stats for that. I think it's a glitch in the game, but... Callahan with the one return touchdown. Did you remember he had that in our week two loss against the Lions? Uh, Eddie Royal averaging 16 yards in return. He's doing all right. So let's go to scouting. Okay, basically with scouting, I'm going to show you the top five positions we're looking to upgrade in the draft. Carlos Belton, Nate Sanders, James Soriano, all first-round prospects. Spawn McCann, J uh, Jabriel Page. Uh, we do want to upgrade at left tackle just to kind of protect uh, either Cutler or whoever we bring in for next year. Second most important need, Ara Midi, Nandi at left guard, Chase Brunner, and Kevin West, left guard. Nothing, uh, we do, we can get them a little later. Uh, DT is our third need, Peniel Galdson, first round prospect, Jarman Swoop, Gerard Eugene, and Javante Dumas. Uh... So, again, not too deep there. I uh, don't like the fact that the positions we need aren't exactly fruitful, if you will say. That's a good word to say. I don't know. Quarterback, though, that's the one that we're really, really, really thinking of upgrading here. Aaron Rose, he was a first-round projection and fell to second now. Uh, but Sheldon Solomon and Shane Cheek and Blake Neal, all first-round prospects. They're actually the only real good quarterback prospects in this draft. So if we're going to take quarterback and move on from Cutler, um, we're going to have to do it in the first round probably. Uh, and we only have one first round pick, I think. So unless we can try to sneak Rose in the second. But obviously that will determine how Cutler does in the second half of the season and how we do as a team. Uh, like I said, we're sitting at 5-3 and three right now. Half a game out of first place. I'm pretty sure we're in the playoffs. If it were to start today. Um, so. You know we're just going to keep grinding out these games. Try to get as many wins as we can. Hope we can make the playoffs. In our second season. Got a young team. Very inexperienced defense still. Secondary. We've got three rookies playing basically. Uh, and one second year guy. So. Anyway we're taking on the undefeated Bengals. In week 10. Make sure to come on back for that. We try to hand them their first loss of the season. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button if you like what you see. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to come back for more Bears franchise. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.